Good afternoon, this is John Hampton with Ronald Television, and today we're doing another channel review. This week's channel review is going to be Storm Chasing Brandon Topic. Uh, just want to let you know that uh, Brandon Topic is a great Christian Storm Chaser. At the time of this recording, uh, and he uh, resided in Toledo, Ohio with his wife and four-year-old son. And uh, they had another child on the way at the time of this recording as well. Uh, but uh, he is a great Christian storm chaser. I love the Lord. Loves a great storm too, as you'll see in some of these clips we're fixing to show you here in a minute. Uh, even when the storms are not popping, his chases are still entertaining because he has all kinds of interesting tidbits to share with the audience. And then, of course, the people on the chase uh, chat is always awesome as well, and you get to enjoy talking to them too. Our first clip up today is from 2021 when he was chasing in Alabama, and this is some of the video from the Alabama tornado outbreak that he covered in 2021. So he could see some very great tornadoes in Alabama back when he was here in 2021, as those videos indicated. He also covered some of the damage from the storms afterwards. Our next clip is from a very recent video. In fact, uh, as I sit here talking, it was just last week that this happened. This is from a live chase video uh, in September 2023, where he was in middle of a chase. He, just the night before, he had had hail damage to both his front and his back windshield, and he's still in the middle of a chase when hail caught up with him again. And so, uh, this is a video of, of uh, that uh, chase, um, and uh, him getting pelted by hail because his windshield was gone. Go, go, go! <laughs> oh, wow, it's nothing here. What? There's trees over here, Corey. There's trees. We can park under the trees. Same spot. Trees, trees, trees. We got trees to take cover under over here. You literally go like a hundred yards in a stop. No, Corey, I'm just to the right of that house. And there's a there's a grove of trees. Ah! Why is this thing?
so goes another windshield. And uh, so, uh, as you can see, there's never a dull moment when Brandon Copy gets store chasing. Uh, our final clip that I'm going to show you from his channel is going to take uh, us back to Hurricane Adelia earlier this year in Florida as they're covering the aftermath of the hurricane on their attempt to get up the uh, Atlantic shore to follow the hurricane as it moved out. And here you'll find them on highways, U.S. highways 19 and 98 in northern Florida as they try to make their way north. And where this clip will pick up, let me set up the story here, is uh, where Brandon and uh, the person is storm chasing with him I think he said his name was Vince in the chase here. Uh, I just finished cutting a tree branch so they could get past this tree that was in the middle of the road. And so we'll pick up the story right there. Let me pop on here and narrate since for whatever reason, uh, when we tried to download this video from YouTube, it downloaded without the audio portion. So we don't actually get to hear Brandon on this particular piece of video, but uh, I have watched this as many times as I have. I can narrate what's going on. So you see Brandon and his friend walking back to the car after they uh, uh, got done uh, cutting the tree branch. Brandon tells his friend to go ahead and go in front of him because he's got to grab his towel and wipe his face off before he can start driving. And then if you wait just a minute here, you'll see his friend pass on by in their vehicle and then in just a minute after Brandon finishes drying off his face he drops in line behind them on the highway here and they round another curve and get another obstacle in their path in this case water uh, the other Jason tells Brandon at first that uh, the high side of the road is dry. He can actually see the pavement, and he's able to continue going uh, without any problems. And Brandon says, are you sure? Because it looks like it's getting deeper instead of uh, shallower. So like, they keep on moving just a little bit more. And once <clears throat> the driver gets around the corner up here, of the vehicle in front, he tells Brandon, nope, no can do. Uh, it goes on a little bit longer, and at one point around this curve here, I can see a sign that's almost completely underwater. And so Brandon tells him, well, we know we can't go any further then. And not in those very words, I'm paraphrasing, of course. Uh, and then, so at that point, in Brandon him and his uh, buddy there back up and back out of the uh, water and then go and find another route to take to get north. You can see him here already starting to back up a little bit at this point. And I'm going to stop the video there. Uh, uh, if you want to see the whole video, there's a lot of other great uh, footage of uh, damage from Hurricane Adelia that you'll see in that video if you go to his channel. Uh, the whole video is about eight and a half hours, I think, believe. So there you have it. Three really good clips to kind of introduce you to the Brandon Topic Storm Chasing channel. Uh, I would recommend going over and like and subscribe and uh, hit that smoosh, that like button, as he says, uh, so that you, whenever he goes live, uh, you can follow along with him. Um, his, uh, his team is called the Moose Squad, and I'll tell you a little bit of that story behind that, since I uh, want to give you as much information as I can in this video. About a year ago, Brandon was chasing, and he came across this field of cows, and he mooed at them, and they mooed back, and as of since then, he's been known as the Moose Squad. And uh, if you're listening, Brandon, and 
Moose Squad family have very big news to you today from uh, Rival Television. Uh, we're glad we was able to uh, tell our viewers about y'all so that they can go check y'all out. I'm, I'm going to tell my viewers right now, go over there, check out Storm Chasing Brandon Copic. He's also got a second channel uh, where he uh, shows videos when he's not chasing. Uh, that you can get the link to as well from the main channel uh, that he has. Uh, I'll drop the links to his two channels in the description to this video. Uh, I encourage you go and check him out. Uh, tell him that Ronald Television sent y'all. And uh, uh, be ready to enjoy some great storm chasing with Brendan Topic and his team. Uh, one thing I will mention uh, that is also heartwarming to me. A lot of times, his uh, four-year-old son will call uh, when he's getting ready for bed at night, and Brandon's on a chase, and Brandon will sit there and pray with his little boy before his little boy goes to bed. And I think that's so sweet. And of course, Brandon will pray for his Storm Chase family uh, that's watching him. Uh, he does uh, encourage prayer requests at the end of the chase every time. He does pray, and I love that. Uh, that that sold me on him as a great person. Uh, and I will also add here, he also carries equipment so he can render aid if he needs to render aid while he's out chasing. Go check him out. Storm Chaser Brandon Copic. Once again, I've linked to his channel in the comments to this video, or the description of this video, I should say. So, uh, go check him out. Uh, thanks to Storm Chaser Brandon Copic and the Boo Squad. And we love y'all tremendously over here at Ryland Television. Until next time, God bless. Have a good day.